What's up guys? Welcome back to Vibin' and Thriving. And I didn't think I'd be making this video so soon, but uh, we lost a homie this weekend. <sighs> and today is the official start of the bait series. But, uh, I got something new yesterday. <laughs> yeah, check this thing out. The reason why I called Old Faithful, well, uh, I'll just let you guys figure it out. Honestly, man, it, it sucks. Like, this is my first bong moving out of my parents' house, you know, down in SoCal, living the LA lifestyle. Just, it was cool, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I, I remember cleaning it too because we had lady friends over, and, um, yeah, I, I was cleaning it, and I remember, like, it just slipping out of my hands, and, like, as soon as I saw it slip, it just went in slow mo, and, like, when it cracked, like all I all I heard was like the Mr. Krabs little violin. Oh boo hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. And, oh, dude, but like shit happens, man. So we're gonna head down to Rick Wicked Smoke Shop down in Long Beach, and uh, hopefully they help me find a, out a nice bong, um, maybe one that's as cool as this, man. This one glue it, it glowed in the dark. It was so cool. And even had like the little ice chamber, but uh, yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys there All right guys, I made it to Rick Wicked's smoke shop. It's actually kind of kind of low-key. I like this little design here uh, Let me see if they can if they allow me to film. Uh, that'd, that'd be cool though. All right, peace All right, guys, I'm in here. Uh, I'm here with Drew. What up, brothers and sisters, <laughs> peoples? And uh, yeah, so I was looking for a bong that is like roughly 40 to 50 bucks, because okay. that was the last one. Uh, and I, I like kind of like the ice chambers too in them. Yeah, so pretty much anything in this little area. Okay. Little area. As you guys saw, they had a bunch of bongs to choose from, but this was the first one that he showed me. This one was nine millimeters thick, I believe. I didn't like this one specifically because it didn't have a big base and I like having water at my base. This was the second one that he showed me. I thought it was pretty clean, pretty cool, but it just wasn't big enough and I, I don't like having bong water touching my lips. It's kind of kind of rancid. <laughs> These were the silicone ones that he was showing me, but I kind of like having a clear glass to show you guys the smoke. I did see this one though out of the corner of my eye and I thought it was like some Mayan Aztec shit. Nah, dude, it was like hieroglyphic, so I, it just wasn't for me. All right, guys, I'm back in my apartment and I have here the replacement for Old Faithful, even though he'll never be replaced. No. So for my experience at Rick Wicked Smoke Shop, it was pretty cool, man. Like they were super nice. They were telling me about like different types of bombs, showing me things. Drew, uh, apparently he was super into drones, man. He was just telling me, giving me a spiel about him. But uh, let's get this hit of the Sour Raz out of the new bong, yo. Cheers. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. It's so smooth, dude, and I love this strain. So the new bong is a little bit different from the old one, as in there's like no designs or anything. But Drew was telling me if I went to like Michael's, they have like this paint that you can paint like on bongs and stuff and it won't wash away. And oh, dude, that'd be cool. So maybe I'll get like super baked and, uh, and paint it, but who knows? I can't leave Rick Wicked Smoke Shop any links down below, but I'll link them on Instagram. And from there, you guys can see all their links. But for now, like, subscribe, 
and don't forget to turn on that little notification bell it at least lets you know that i upload videos yo apparently people don't know that i upload videos even though they're subscribed so <laughs> stay vibing stay thriving guys peace